So this is the Reaver, which um, I think at the moment, I think it's a permanent thing that you can get him for free at the moment, but I'm still going to do a video about him. But um, let's see if I'm using any... Nope, I'm not using any of them. Okay, so let's have a look at his... Let's have a look at his uh, stats. He has um, the best damage of them all, or next to anyway, I think, with the Weaver. But um, he is a melee kind of guy, so he's bound to have uh, the best damage. He also has quite good health. His power isn't all that good. His armor's average, could be better. His avoidance, yeah, is uh, more than average, and resistance is not all that good. If you want to look at the other skills, here they are. Okay, so let's have a look at the skills that he has. Now, all these are the ones that you get at the start, besides these bottom two. All these are the ones that you get at the start, because uh, I'm not actually ranked him yet. Um, he has a charge ability, which I'll show you now, which basically... I'll describe what it does. It sets running speed to 200% and you become immune to all combat states whilst whilst charging. Which is um, pretty good. Um, duration of 8 seconds, cooldown of 30 seconds and has a cost of 73. So basically I press this and then I leg it into battle. And I'm immune to, to um, most things basically. It's not last for 8 seconds, but it's enough to get you into the fight. In, uh, enough to deal some damage before it stops. We also have the March skill. Down here. Let's go back to the skills bit. We have March, which is 25% out of combat running speed. Un unable to evade, parry or block, just like the rest of them. Okay, so we've got two debuffering. Two debuffering skills that um, basically attack the legs. It's a melee skill, it attacks the legs, and it's minus 25% running speed to my target, duration of 15 seconds, cost 73 power, and cooldown of 10 seconds. Blinding Dust, which is a radius skill, radius of 5 meters, maximum target of 4, and then um, basically I throw dust into the people's eyes and it puts them, um, it gives them plus 20% mischance. Duration of 30 seconds for that. Cost of 73 power and cool that of 1 minute. So we use his melee skills, which are his main, his main arson. So we've got sudden strikes, which is two fast attacks on your opponent. The first attack will do approximately 325 common damage. The next attack will do a bit lower, 244 common damage. Cost, um, cost um, 62, and there's no cooldown for that. We have Jagged Cut, um, which um, does 376 common damage. Cost 113 power, and cooldown of 5 seconds. This also is a radius skill again which has a maximum target of 4, so it'll actually swipe and cut everyone in front of you, up to 4 people. Devastating Strike is quite good. Um, it does up to, uh, it does approximately 1,305 common damage, also minus 50% incoming health modifier, um, cost 73, 73 power, and cooldown of 1 minute. Now it now here's a, a little note that you need to take for skill. When your target has less than half of their morale, you can make an extremely devastate, extremely damaging attack with an increased chance to critical. So you can only perform this when your target has less as less than half of their health. That's why at the moment it's grey. Because that's less rate, I think it's pronounced. Another melee attack does 406 common damage approximately and between 102 to 145 common damage every 2 seconds for 20 seconds. Cost 62 power, cooldown of 8 seconds. So this guy is mainly a melee guy, which um, personally I don't really play him that much. 
hence why I've not got a rank. But um, I think this guy would be better if you have a bunch of Reavers and a Warlord and some healers. But if you have a bunch of Reavers to run into battle together. But at the moment, um, if you're by yourself just using this guy, you'll find it hard because it'll only be you running in. But if there's organised attacks, I think it'll be much better. But yeah, this is the Reaver. I hope you're enjoying.